This video is brought to you by Simply Safe. There's no safe like Simply Safe. We're back on site this morning, and I was a little late because I was doing a home inspection for someone. Kind of not official home inspection, but heard there were some interesting things that I missed while I was driving. Let's check it out. So evidently, I framed the area for the bathtub half inch too narrow. Need 60 inches, right? Uh, we pulled layout from the closet side instead of from the tub side, and it was 59 one half. So now we've got this sawzalled out. Everybody knows that. You start with the tub side first, 60 inches. I mean, that's like carpentry 101. Yeah. I mean, that's like the first day of class. So evidently, you can't trust anybody to build a house, not even yourself <laughs> or me on Jamie's house. Guess he didn't see the rip guide saw sitting there. Arlo doesn't need a rip guide. Come on, he is a human rip guide. He's ripped more boards than you drank Bud Lights. I don't know about that. <laughs> I might have to test him on that one. Yeah. yeah. I think we're good. We got about three sixteenths. And he's shot it already. All right, you still like it? Oh, I love it. It didn't move. <laughs> So Kobe is here with our windows and we chose to go with Sierra Pacific on this job. Um, my good friend, Gavin Brown, who's a builder, I go to church with him, builds these like mega houses. Yeah. And we had all the trouble with the windows on the last job. He recommended Sierra Pacific. He said that's what he uses. So we're gonna give him a shot here on this project. And I'll tell you one thing, we got them like on time. They so, are on time. Uh, number one is a check. Are you ready? Jamie's got to set up the shot here. Look at this. I think we can get <laughs> All that together. This gonna be some action here, folks. All right. I, ooh, oh, that's the that's the shot right there. <laughs> Jay, this next one's gotta go downstairs. Yeah, I'm going to lunch. <laughs> Yo, John, it's, like it's like 12 15. It's like 12 15. Kobe! Kobe! Yo, can you just back this truck down the yard? <laughs> All right, guys, that goes downstairs. <laughs> All right, here's the deal, guys. It's lunchtime. We got all these windows sitting in the house. We're in town. We don't want them walking away tonight. So Jamie's gonna spray like one side of the soffits. Boom, we're installing windows. Everybody grab a window. Let's put them all in. Follow me. Follow Jamie. So you got primer in there right now? Yeah, I'm thinking primer first on the bare wood stuff. And then I'm gonna come back. I might even do it twice. Two primer coats. I might, because this stuff, it's got some knots. It, it has sap. I'm really kind of thinking that the uh, knots are gonna bleed through. That's a so, look. <laughs> yeah, it's a look I don't want, but we might we might get that look anyway. I'm sure there are gonna be people that think I'm crazy to paint these beams. Cause they're pretty sweet looking beams, but where we live, we have these bees that like to bore into the beams and make their- I think they're called boring bees. Are they called boring? Yeah. Well, that makes sense. And uh, they really love white pine. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like their favorite, right? So this whole thing would just be like full of bees. And then guess what comes for the bees? Woodpeckers. Woodpeckers. Yeah. So it's not really the bees that destroy your house, it's the woodpeckers. And this thing, like I said, they would just tear it up. And if you paint it though, they can't tell it's, it's like wood. the bees can't smell it or something. They don't know it's wood anymore. And uh, well, it's really for the look too, you know, that, but it's really because of the bees. I can't leave them. That's about the third coat of primer I've seen Jamie put on the end grain of these beams. And the reason is it really soaks it in and it really will soak in water if you don't seal it really well. And that'd be the most likely thing to rot. Uh, you're going to have gutters on that though, right? Yeah, there'll be a gutter. There'll be a gutter, but still. Wow, what's up, Ray? What's up? It's really weird to see someone just looking in like a second story window. 
Especially the guy looks like Sasquatch. Get a good sharp pencil. Yep, set her down. We've got our first door installed here and these are Masonite Vista Grande slabs. They don't have that big bulky trim right here around the glass, which I really like. They look very sleek and look really good. Basically all we did was use the brick yeah. mold here Put some screws in where we wanted it, got everything plumb and square. And then Arlo is gonna come back and fasten through the jams to our framing. And then we'll take these screws out, rip the brick mold off, and we'll put trim on that matches everything else instead of that brick mold. That's a pretty easy way to do it. Here, okay. hold my hat. Don't wanna run that. Glasses. Glasses. Yeah. Shirt, see you later. Sure. <laughs> yeah. You all right with him doing this? I guess. It's kind of like that. What's that story about, like, the, the kid that's painting the Casper. fence? Casper. Tom Sawyer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, it's it's really like that, you know? Oh. I can't, you know, he he's doing it, and I was like, I would want to do it, you know? And then before I know it, he's over here painting and having a good time. He just can't help himself. Oh, he's having a great time. Now yeah. he's committed I hope to I don't the, end up looking like you when I'm done. He's committed to this whole run now. You're wearing a clean black shirt, by the way, just in case you didn't notice. I tried to get him to take it off. We're using these zip system stretch tape on the bottom of these window sills as a pan flashing. And I got the extra wide today. I don't know why. Uh, it's usually like six inches. This must be eight. Uh, we're gonna use it anyway. I think it'll work great. Roller. Just nestle it right in there. This is weird, isn't it? Putting windows in before the drywall? I know. I long. thought we were supposed to put the drywall in first. I know, forgot. <laughs> it's been so long. What happened to that knife that was here? Oh, I put it back in my pouch where oh. you got it from. <laughs> Jag. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Simply Safe, and I'm setting up my home security system today. And I wanted a way to be able to monitor what's going on inside and outside when I'm gone working way on some mountainside. And also it's gonna be great when we're gone. We have two huge dogs we cannot take with us on vacation. I want a way to be able to make sure they're getting taken care of, that they're okay. Pet sitters are coming and actually feeding them while we're gone on vacation. So let's get it set up. We're gonna demonstrate how easy it is to add a sensor. This is a door sensor. Uh, I've got it setting right here. I'm gonna go add entry. I'm gonna pull the battery tab. And I'm gonna press the button. Entry sensor added. It's added. Let's go stick it on. Simply Safe also offers 24 seven home monitoring protection for less than a dollar a day. And that's less than half of the cost of traditional home security brands. And for that, Simply Safe's professional agents are ready to dispatch police, firefighters, or EMTs in an emergency. That's my water sensor. I had a sewer backup come out of this drain a few months ago and flood my entire garage. I didn't know it till it was too late. So that guy will set my alarm off if that happens again. I've got my Simply Safe system up and running. It was super easy, super fast. It's all connected and working in a matter of about an hour. So I'm super pumped about that. If you want to get your own system, you can get up to 40% off when you go to simplysafe.com slash Perkins or use the link down in the video description. Thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Thanks for the awesome security system. Let's get back to work.
sorry, this show just got a little different. <laughs> this is an emergency. Sorry about that. This show is uh, not ready for kids. <laughs> okay. I'll do a mime. Yeah. Uh, a mime. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, uh, yeah, see. I cannot believe that just happened. Well. You know what? I am so glad that wasn't me. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Yeah. Can somebody get Jamie a shirt? I mean, I feel like he's just going to finish the day out like this. <laughs> Put my vest on. Yeah, that's a good look for you. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Good, good contrast. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. They did get it cleaned up, just in case anybody was super worried about it. I know I was, but it, it's clean. They did an amazing job. Can I get you to step one yeah, step yeah, yeah. down? Yeah, there. you're you're making right. him look like short I'm like there. Tom Cruise. Oh, there. The bigger boots today. I don't know. It I gotta stay the camera elevated. Angle, I can, Tom I can, Cruise. Uh... Yeah, get down a little lower, Jamie, and get that. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, cut. We're here with Harrison. He's from Dealer's Warehouse, and we want to give a special thanks to Sierra Pacific uh, for getting us what we needed here. We've got the premium vinyl windows for this job, and then some doors as well. What can you tell us about Sierra Pacific? So Sierra Pacific uh, is a privately held company here in the United States. They manufacture windows, doors, massive pieces of glass, all the way mm. from ooh, kind ooh. of a builder's grade vinyl window you'd see in a spec home, all the way up to a high-end multi multi-million dollar direct set aluminum clad or that means some of them they set aluminum. the glass in sight on site yeah the direct There's set normally Frame the glass windows are too big to move with the glass in them is normally yeah. how that shakes out it makes it a lot easier on y'all <laughs> and hanging those windows when they're not yeah. eight nine hundred pounds yeah so. and another thing i like about sierra pacific is their start to finish they own the land plant the trees grow the trees cut them mill them turn them into their products and then replant more, so they're very sustainable. Correct. I can get behind that, like the whole start to finish, the whole process, that's kind of like what we do. That, that is Hello. exactly yeah. what we do, yeah. so I like it. All the steps of the process. So anyway, we just want to thank Sierra Pacific again, Dealer's Warehouse. Uh, we've been working with him on this job, and uh, it's been great. We got our stuff on time, and it all looks great. Thank you, sir. No problem. Appreciate it. No problem. I was just checking out this picture. What do you think about building that? Ooh, she's swerving curvy. <laughs> yeah. Holy moly. Yeah, I, I don't like, know about building it. I like the way it looks. But, yeah. Um, That's pretty mm. nutty. I've actually never seen a glass wall like that before. I haven't either. There's our fasteners. They're like two inches because this uh, inch thick sheathing and foam. You're good across the top, Arlo. A little more. Usually wouldn't even try to wash off here at the job site, but I gotta go to the bank. And I think if I go into the <laughs> bank looking like this, they're just gonna tackle me and handcuff me right away. All right, so I gotta get cleaned up a little bit. All right, we're gonna see if this works here. Did they get it off? No. <laughs> I'm good to go now, right? Not so much. Nobody yet. will I would, notice. I would keep washing. I'll, uh, I'll go up to the truck. I need a mirror. Yeah. You know, they should put a mirror in the portage on. I got to show the much. after because I'm so amazed. Hey. <laughs> you look like you're ready to go on a dinner date there. If it wasn't for Tubbo Towel, <laughs> hashtag not sponsored by Tubbo Towel. Uh, I thought we were. No, I mean. You need to be. Hey, they, Tubbo they Towel. They said they were going to do it and they didn't. If Tubbo Towel is listening right now. Although they're listening. We love you. They realized we'd advertise for free. Dang it, before? dang it. Did they see you before? Oh, oh yeah, got, oh yeah. Okay, okay. Before. And water was not gonna get it. Okay. A rag and water. So I would have rubbed like all the skin off my did face. You, did you use any steel wool or anything? Nope, <laughs> no no <laughs> abrasives, no power tools. Just a uh, tubbo towel and a wet rag. You're welcome, awesome. tubbo towel. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we love you that much. Arlo, another one dried in, buddy. It is. There How many is it. that for you? I have no idea. Oh, good answer. Really? No, I do. <laughs> we're back on site this morning and Jamie gave me a rundown of what we're doing. So I'm going to paraphrase because it took him five minutes to tell me. <laughs> we're here 
It's time to do siding because all the windows are installed. We have leftover siding. We got to go count it to see what quantities of what style we have. Thank you, LP, for our leftover siding. Let's figure it out and start. Didn't we already do all this? <laughs> yeah, it took you five minutes. That took me 10 seconds. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Let's figure it out. Let's do it. I got something you had never seen before. A red carpenter's pencil. Have you ever seen one? What? No. Have you? Uh, seriously, though. I've never seen one, seriously. I haven't either. And guess what? I have one. Actually, I have two. So that's two. like uh, the red letter version. If, if Jamie writes it, it's in red. <laughs> <laughs> it's I the gospel know. if Jamie writes it. <laughs> I don't know if I'd take it that far. Actually, I got this from Sherman, my father-in-law, and he's yeah. a builder. And uh, he used to build back in the day when they only had hand saws, uh -huh. like before they invented like batteries and stuff. <laughs> and electricity what well i'm just saying yeah yeah he knows a thing or two about carpentry so he handed me this red carpenter pencil he said this is for when you're marking out your wall plates all right boss man comes through you got to mark the window openings and that's so the that, boss man pencil. this is a boss man pencil so that the, the, the other guys when they see the window openings they don't just stud right across the wall when they're right it. they would see the red marking i like it says red lead it says it's red red looks anyway. good on you Arla. i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i need, I need we're at the Perkins Boneyard, which is a secret location here, and it's got a little uh, back route down to our lower boneyard. And it usually requires four wheel drive to get up, but you can go down it in two wheel drive. I think you could go back up it, actually. Oh, yeah, you could go up that. There he is. Jamie wanted to build a house right there. Did y'all know that? Yeah. yeah. And um, I talked him out of it because he's got so much crap, it would take him 10 years to move. Band boards. Band boards. Uh, Got that's some lap. Is that lap at the bottom? Uh, I don't know. No, that's uh, that's fascia board. back on the site and as much as we love your trailer being parked right here in the way every time we walk out the front door and all the siding being up right. where we don't need it i'm thinking you should drive it down the hill i kind of i kind of think i agree i hate to say that but uh <laughs> i'm a little bit scared if things can slide off so i guess we'll just give it a go you're rubbing a little bit Uh, <laughs> Run away. Nice driving. I appreciate that. That was a little, little sketch. I'll bet it was scarier than it looked. Well, it, it doesn't look like anything on camera probably, but I mean, you know, I don't know. That's it for our video today. Make sure to check back next week where we're going to start installing the siding. We're going to do some funny things that you've never seen before, or I haven't ever seen before anyways. So that's going to be exciting. As always, uh, thanks for building with us. Remember to get subscribed if you haven't. Give us a thumbs up. That helps us out, and we'll see you on the next one. Good luck, sir. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> no problem. Bro, she's got so much power, dude. <laughs>